What's up everyone? Got a new product here I wanted to share with everyone. So a buddy of mine just gave me this here, the Olite Warrior X. It's a new flashlight out on the market. Maybe not so new, but new to me. This isn't even out of the box yet and it's already half the size. The Stinger, the long range that I've always used. Well, it's 800 lumens and has a 438 meter throw. The smaller Warrior X by Olite though, features 2,250 lumens for a 600 meter throw. We're on the bench with two of my favorite things, a pocket knife and something new to open. Got a nice hard box for the Olight. How do you open it? Does it slide out? Is the box tougher than me? Ah, oh, there we go. So thank you for being a part of the Olight family. Your support is why we do this. Well, I need to see in the dark. That's why I'm doing this. We got the light. Comes in a magnetic phone case. Go on a belt, pack, whatever you want to do. We got the charger in here and something another up in here. The stuff us mans never read. Use your manual. All right, so getting straight into the flashlight. Here it is. Case is very tough feeling though. I don't use cases much, but it feels great. Let's see if it comes charged. Nope. Well, guys, who'd have thunk it? Apparently, this Joker is charged. Read a little bit on the instructions here, but as most electrical devices, you're going to open it up and pull this little tab that prevents the battery from making contact. Put the switch cap back on it. Ooh, hot diggity dog, it's bright. Well, I can tell that it, it has signaling to you because it vibrates in your hand at different, different ways. All right, not so sure on this yet, but we're gonna read the instructions, I guess, and get back to you. All these are LED style lights, but check it out, y'all. Here's a Stinger HP, the standard by many peoples, and here's the new Warrior X Pro from Olight. It operates like a normal flashlight, as you would expect, in a lot of ways but a few little features about this is pretty cool so if you want a hard uh, bright beam just press the button hard you got a nice bright light push it to turn it off you want a softer beam lightly push the button and you got a soft beam another cool feature I really like about this is the charger so let's check that out so your normal HP stinger style light that we keep going back to real cool when you want to charge them you got these these uh, charging docks, just like this, right? You see them in cars, you see them on walls, wherever you want. You slide the light in, and then if it's plugged in, the light would be shining here, showing that it's either charged or not. The O-Light, what's really cool about that, this is it. That's all it is. So you got your light, plug it in your standard USB port, and check this out. Boom. It's got a little detent in it. It'll always find center. Just let it rip. If it's tactical, you gotta be doing some tactical reloads. In this case, a tactical charge. What do you do when you only have one hand? You just got your right hand blown off and it's disabled. So now what are you gonna do? Easy. So now I'm gonna charge this joker up. I'm gonna charge all the flashlights up. Take them outside and see where they shine. It's glowing red right now with LED. As soon as it's charged, it's going to turn green. Well, here's one other thing I like about it. In the instruction manual, it tells you to preserve battery life, to disconnect from the battery, rotate the end cap half of a turn, and it'll still remain watertight and you know rugged. So let me turn this light off here. You can see that the LED is gl glowing red, indicate that it's not done charging yet. It's still absorbing a charge. So if I want to turn that body, just that half turn, you see it turn green. There's no connection to the battery. Here's the Streamlight HP Stinger for long range. Not bad, but here is the Olight. Much brighter. A good bit brighter. So, again, Here's the Streamlight, the HP Stinger, and while we're doing it at the same time, here's the uh, 
the Olight on the right. Olight on the right. You can see it's significantly brighter. I hope you enjoyed the review of the Olight. I really think I'm gonna like it a lot. It's small, compact, super bright, and great for the uses I have, which is like night hunting for coyotes and pigs and stuff like that. Cody is so excited that she can see in the dark now, she cannot hardly contain herself. So exciting. So, if you got any other questions, don't leave them in the comment box because I won't know how to help you. Probably go check out the webpage. I think it's olightworld.com and I think you will like it. It's a new great choice out on the market. So tell them what you think, Cody. We'll see you on the next one. Ah. All right, guys, there you have it. So you got a light and you got a no light. Better than having no light at all.